to SummerSlam continues with a high stakes main event. Bobby Lashley with a score to settle with Karrion Cross once and for all. One on one tonight in a tables match later tonight on Raw and also this evening. Two of the top stars in the women's division set to clash as the man Becky Lynch goes one on one with Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley tonight on Raw. We are set to kick things off from the Spectrum Center, Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City playing host to what is going to be a great night of action as the prize fighter makes his way down the aisle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. We want to take you back to last week. Of course, all hell breaking loose at the top of the program seven nights ago. A brawl ensuing in the area. And up by the stage as Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar look to dismantle each other. Of course, a long story history over the last couple of months between Lesnar and Kevin Owens. And as you can see, Lesnar laying out Owens with an F5 on the concrete. Kevin Owens set to lock horns with Lesnar in just a couple of weeks. And his opponent. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. What is a homecoming tonight for Cedric Alexander as he competes in front of his hometown Charlotte crowd. But Kevin Owens set to settle the score with Brock Lesnar once and for all in just a number of weeks. Sunday night, August the 20th, we will be live from Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California for the biggest party yet. SummerSlam, Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar, no holds barred. And of course, later tonight, another situation at hand is Bobby Lashley and Karrion Cross have unfinished business over the last couple of months. They are going to lock horns in a tables matchup later in your main event. So much history there, which we will talk about throughout the evening. We are kicking things off live from a sold-out Spectrum Center as Kevin Owens meets Cedric Alexander. Well, Alexander hot off the heels of a victory over The Miz last week here on Raw. It was in his hometown of Cleveland just seven nights ago. And Kevin Owens, as you just saw, laid out by the hands of the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar with that F5 on the concrete last Monday night. Kevin Owens tried to end the career of Brock Lesnar, putting him on the shelf a few months ago with a pop-up powerbomb through a table down to the concrete. Lesnar has been looking to even the score. He cost Kevin Owens a spot and the Money in the Bank ladder match just a number of weeks back, and then that brawl ensuing last week here on Raw. Things finally gonna come to a head in just a matter of weeks in Levi Stadium at SummerSlam. And Kevin Owens right now taking the fight to Cedric Alexander. No answer by Alexander thus far in your opening contest tonight on Raw. KO and Sammy show been running rough shot over the red brand ever since reunited back in January at the Royal Rumble, we have seen these two men dismantle the likes of Edge. AJ Styles taking the fight to Matt Riddle. Damn near almost took the WWE Championship away from the original bro at one point. But things finally starting to catch up with Kevin Owens, at least for now. And Brock Lesnar is coming for his retribution next month at SummerSlam. Meanwhile, Cedric Alexander trying to get back into this matchup on the outside of the ring, but I don't know if you want to brawl with someone in the lights of Kevin Owen. Owen sending Cedric Alexander back inside the ring. Wait a minute. Alexander outrunning the prize fighter there, and a nice kick by the hometown superstar. As we mentioned, Alexander picking up that win seven nights ago against The Miz. And a huge opportunity tonight as Kevin Owens opposes him. And here's Alexander with the Brain Buster. Trying to get back into this matchup and possibly bring it to a fine conclusion. But not just yet as Kevin Owens pops the shoulder off the canvas and the matchup continues. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Sami Zayn. We always come to expect this out of the KO and Sami show. Taking the eye off the ball for Cedric Alexander. That is how Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn do business here on Monday nights. By hook or by crook, they will use the numbers game to their advantage. And Alexander feeling the brunt of it right there. It's allowed Kevin Owens to get back into this contest as Alexander now fighting an uphill battle. Still to come tonight to the top women in the division here on Monday Night Raw. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley 
the new Mrs. Money in the Bank. Set to lock horns with the man, Becky Lynch, the woman who got in the face of the Empress of Tomorrow last week on Raw. A lot of writing on that matchup tonight, but meanwhile, Alexander's on the outside, and I don't know if this is where he wants to be with Kevin Owens primed and ready to take action. Over the top rope, and Owens laying out Alexander. Kevin Owens hell-bent on destruction tonight. And I think KO is trying to send a statement, trying to send a message to the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar that he will not be intimidated, that he will not back down. And even though Kevin Owens might have made the bridge, he's going to have to walk across it at SummerSlam. Cedric Alexander is really fighting an uphill battle, as we mentioned in your opening matchup tonight. Really no answer for Owens throughout this contest as far, and that may do it right there. Kevin Owens planting Alexander on the canvas, and that went to the cover. Oh, and Alexander getting the shoulder up. Cedric lives, Cedric fights to survive. Kevin Owens, although he's been dominating the majority of this opening contest so far, not able to put Alexander away just yet. It's been well documented the heart and the soul of Cedric Alexander. We have seen him fight from pillar to post with some of the best of them for the last number of months on Monday Night Raw trying to rise the ranks here on the red brand, trying to gain some steam. The win against The Miz last week certainly doing Alexander some good, but can he keep the momentum going tonight? So far, unfortunately, not so hot by Alexander in his hometown of Charlotte. But Kevin Owens here to continue the pursuit. And Kevin Owens looking to spoil the hometown reception for Cedric Alexander. Now what? Kevin Owens hanging up Alexander in the top rope. Kevin Owens is hoping, is praying that Brock Lesnar has got his eyes on this matchup tonight because Kevin Owens wants to send Brock Lesnar a message as to what's to come, at least in his mind, next month at the biggest party of the Summer Summer Slam. Cedric Alexander is dead. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! The Beast incarnate! Brock Lesnar has arrived at the Spectrum Center in the Queen City. Brock Lesnar laying out Kevin Owens seven nights ago. And the Beast isn't interested in waiting for Levi Stadium and no holds barred. Lesnar is here and, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cedric Alexander. The fire under Alexander as Kevin Owens' eye was taken off the ball. Brock Lesnar arrived to aid distraction. And Kevin Owens took his eye off the ball, similar to how Sami Zayn tried to take advantage of Alexander. And now Alexander into the cover. What an upset! Cedric Alexander picks up the victory over the prize fighter Kevin Owens. Well, Brock Lesnar, in my eyes, even the playing field tonight. KO and Sammy always with the numbers game, but the Beast Incarnate with a score to settle with Kevin Owens, and he stuck it to the prize fighter yet again here tonight at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Kakalaki. Here is your winner, Cedric. So much unfinished business between Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar, but you got to take nothing away from the heart of Cedric Alexander. What an upset in his hometown. What a victory for Cedric Alexander. Well, the biggest party of the summer is coming your way Sunday night, August the 20th, 5 p.m. Eastern time from Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California. It's the 2023 Summer Slam. But not only is Summer Slam coming your way, but it's certainly going to be the biggest party yet. August 14th for Monday Night Raw, the 18th for SmackDown, the 19th we kick off the Cruiserweight Classic. It is a week of live premieres, all concluding with Summer Slam on August the 20th. Cannot wait to get to next month, another incredible week in the history of Universe Mode. But tonight, the new Intercontinental Champion arrives for the first time since winning the gold. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. 
the WWE Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. Well, no one has been able to turn away the invincible Ilya Dragunov and his Intercontinental Championship reign. That was until he meant the defiant LA Knight just eight nights ago at Money in the Bank in Columbus, Ohio. And that man, LA Knight, picking up the victory, becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. Whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that LA Knight brought the fight to Ilya Dragunov. It was an absolute instant classic in the midst of the Nationwide Arena eight nights ago. LA Knight want it clean as a whistle. No questions asked. He walked away a deserving Intercontinental Champion. Whether you like his attitude or not, you can't argue with the gold around his waist. LA Knight back in action tonight for the first time since that war with Ilya Dragunov. And Rick Boogs with a huge opportunity tonight. We're going to take the fight to LA Knight. And a possible victory for the hungry Rick Boogs could easily put him in line for a future Intercontinental Championship match. Rick Boogs has seen some struggles on Monday Night Raw over the last few months. Last time we saw him inside of the squared circle. It was in a losing effort to Carmelo Hayes. To take nothing away from the strength, the hunger, the desire to be better from Rick Boogs. With such an opportunity glaring you in the eyes tonight, you got to believe Boogs is looking to make the most of this opportunity. Right now, the loud, the proud LA Knight not only showcasing his new Intercontinental Championship as he made his way down the aisle, showcasing the talents that brought him that very gold. And you got to wonder, is the Ilya Dragunov going to be coming back for his rematch after such an amazing reign by Dragunov from WrestleMania Saturday in February all the way to Money in the Bank eight nights ago? Turning away the lights of Butch and Tyler Bate, Apollo Crews. It was an incredible reign, reign for Dragunov. And even though he came up short at Money in the Bank, you got to believe he's going to be coming back for more. You always got to look at the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room as well. I mean, you just saw, oh, wait a minute! Rick Boogs, you're going to talk about somebody hungry for more. Send an LA Knight for an amusement park ride over the top rope and down to the floor. Boogs is fired up tonight at the Spectrum Center. And LA Knight playing a game of cat and mouse right now. He wants none of the strength by Rick Boogs and tried to take advantage, but Boogs tackled him down to the canvas. Boogs is fired up tonight. Well, I was about to mention, you got to look at the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room as to who could possibly be waiting for their opportunity to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. Rick Boogs, out, however, could easily be one of the men taking that future spot. And LA Knight trying to make sure that isn't going to happen on his behalf. Knight not looking to take his first loss as the Intercontinental Champion. Knight's been on a bit of a roll as of late. Remember a singles victory over Rob Van Dam last month. Of course, he won the number one contendership for the Intercontinental title by outlasting seven other men in an Independence Day Battle Royal. And he rode that momentum into the nationwide arena eight nights ago. He better capitalize on a downed opponent right now. LA Knight was showboating and it may have cost him. Do not take your eyes off Rick Boogs. Do not underestimate the size, the strength, the desire to be better from that young man who is powering, or at least trying to overpower, LA Knight right now. Let's fall away neckbreaker and the Intercontinental Champion snapping back into things here and taking the fight to his opponent. I felt a little embarrassed that Rick Boogs one-upped him a moment ago, sidestepped that elbow, took advantage of the matchup. There's another counter by Boogs. LA Knight trying to take advantage, but I think LA Knight was not expecting this fight out of his opponent tonight. LA Knight's a bit of a loud mouth, bit of an egotistical superstar. We don't call him that for a reason, or I should say for no reason. LA Knight, I'm not surprised that he's underestimating Rick Boogs tonight. And Boogs looking to make the most of that statement by LA Knight. This is the uppercut there, LA Knight now. Oh, and a cheap right hand. And here comes the Intercontinental Champion. LA Knight's got to bring the fight to Boogs, the same fight that he brought to Dragunov in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Boogs. Look at the strength. Pump handle slam. We're going to get another, up another upset tonight on Raw. Oh, and a kick out by LA Knight. Rick Boogs. There's some magic in the air. 
Cedric Alexander with the upset over Kevin Owens to kick things off tonight on Raw. Rick Boogs was looking for lightning to strike twice, but LA Knight interested in other affairs. The Loudmouth, the new Intercontinental Champion, the defiant LA Knight getting the victory and pushing forward as one of the new faces of Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, LA Knight. The new Intercontinental Champion LA Knight with a big time victory tonight in Charlotte. Who is gonna be first to step up and be LA Knight's first challenger for the Intercontinental Championship? We will find out as the road to SummerSlam continues. In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe, at 205 pounds and under, gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. And coming your way on the 20th of August, it is SummerSlam, and already signed for the biggest party of the summer. The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar looking to get his payback, his retribution on Kevin Owens, when it's no holds barred in Levi Stadium. Also signed for that major event after this past Friday night on SmackDown, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looking to run things back this time successfully against the Ring General Guther and the United States Championship will be on the line. And SmackDown's main event, of course, already signed the 2023 King of the Ring winner. Austin Theory earned his right back in June, and he will challenge the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, for the World Heavyweight Championship Sunday night, August the 20th, in Levi Stadium at SummerSlam. SummerSlam is going to be a major event, quite possibly our biggest live premiere event in Universe Mode history. Still so much more to be signed, but as for tonight in Charlotte, it is time for some women's division action as the man has entered the room. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. We want to take you back to last week here on Monday Night Raw, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, returning to in-ring action, defeating Tiffany Stratton, but the story to be told was after the bell when the man Becky Lynch stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Asuka, a face down, a showdown inside of that ring, clearly signaling some unfinished business between Becky and Asuka. Of course, those two women with history dating back to WrestleMania Sunday earlier this year where Asuka tapped out Becky, and it was well documented for a number of months that that tap out, that loss by Becky Lynch really derailed her momentum which was shortly after her return after a hiatus. Becky recently has finally got back on track, even though she came up short, was a participant in the Money in the Bank. But it seems to me that Becky Lynch is looking to settle the score with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, before she moves on to her next step here in WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. But here comes Mrs. Money in the Bank. She took down the briefcase eight nights ago in Columbus, Ohio, and now the nightmare brings more gold to the Judgment Day. The briefcase held by Rhea Ripley. Of course, the World Tag Team titles held by Finn Balor and Damian Priest. And Rhea Ripley has guaranteed herself a future shot at the WWE Women's Championship anytime, any place for up to one year. Rhea Ripley outlasting Becky Lynch and four other superstars eight nights ago, but can she do it one-on-one -on -one tonight? Rhea looking to continue to build her momentum on Monday Night Raw as she has done the last number of months. Becky looking to bounce back here tonight. 
Big time women's division contest between two of the top stars here tonight in Charlotte. Rhea Ripley has been dominating Monday Night Raw for months. Certainly, whether you like her attitude or not, a deserving superstar to take down the briefcase. But Becky Lynch, not interested in Rhea Ripley's affairs. The man is looking to build some momentum for herself here on Monday Night Raw. And you saw what happened last week. Becky's staring down Asuka. And Becky is looking to clearly settle that unfinished business with the Empress of Tomorrow. Becky never got that rematch that she wanted against Asuka one-on-one, -on -one, even after she tapped out at WrestleMania. Becky was itchy for another shot. Unfortunately, never got it, but Becky Lynch has recently really dialed in her focus again. Qualified for money in the bank. Unfortunately, as we mentioned, unable to take down the briefcase, but every chance she gets to step foot inside this ring is another chance to build some momentum here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley, however, looking to continue the pristine work of the Judgment Day. We saw Finn Balor and Damian Priest, unfortunately, in losing action last week alongside Karrion Cross and that six-man tag team main event. However, still your world tag team champions of all, WWE. And Rhea Ripley bringing that briefcase back to the Judgment Day locker room. Ripley, Priest, and Balor really showcasing. They are some of the top dogs here on Monday night. And Rhea Ripley, emphatic boot to the jaw, and Becky Lynch getting the shoulder up, but certainly some damage done by the Nightmare. Looking to eradicate Becky Lynch tonight. We've seen Ripley dominate the likes of Alexa Bliss. She's alongside Shayna Baszler in that big tag match last month at Raw Homecoming. Helped defeat Liv Morgan when she was the women's champion. Rhea Ripley with some victories over Natalia in recent months as well. Defeated her in her own backyard. The Canadian street fight a number of months ago. Rhea Ripley has certainly taken Monday Night Raw by storm, but Becky Lynch doesn't care who you are or where you've been. Interested in picking up her own W tonight as she sends Rhea Ripley to the outside. The man Becky Lynch wants to see her hand raised, build some much needed momentum. And Ragdoll and Rhea Ripley off the apron, big time maneuver by Becky, and she continues the onslaught. You know, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, returned at Money in the Bank. Ensued a, a monstrous brawl with the champion, Shayna Baszler. And obviously, Asuka has got her eyes on Baszler. But I think Becky has got her eyes on Asuka as well as the women's champion. Very interesting situation in the women's division right now. Everybody gunning for the same championship gold. We're going to find out in due time who's going to be next in line for the Queen of Spades. Will it be Asuka? Will it be the Nightmare Rhea Ripley cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase? Will it be somebody from the Friday Night SmackDown roster where Shayna Baszler technically resides? All remains to be seen. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley trying to get back into this matchup. As Becky's been dominating the last number of minutes, but face first goes the man off the canvas. Could be a broken nose if he can't breathe, he can't fight. Becky gets the shoulder up, but is she just delaying the inevitable? It's the nightmare Rhea Ripley to looking to continue her dominance tonight in Charlotte. And now the submission hold locked in, and Becky, who knows a, a thing or two about these submissions inside of the ring, may not be able to find her way out of this one. The strength, the power of the nightmare, but there's Becky Lynch able to roll out of it. Down goes the... Misses money in the bank. The damage certainly done. Rhea Ripley did not waste any time getting back into this matchup. Went right for the kill with some big time maneuvers over the man. Well, there's another counter by the strength of Rhea Ripley. And just power slamming, manhandling the man down to the canvas. Now this is what makes Rhea Ripley so dangerous. Cold blooded inside of that ring. Just the stomps to the heart of Becky Lynch. Now heading to the top rope, Rhea Ripley coming from the heavens, and that may be all she wrote. I don't see anybody getting up from that, but we speak too soon. Becky able to get the shoulder up, but for how much longer? He said it a few moments ago, but is she just delaying the inevitable in this matchup? Becky's got to get her wits about her, and she's got to get them fast, because Rhea Ripley trying to take things to the sky, but the man Becky Lynch not going to allow that offense. A rare misstep out of the arsenal of Mrs. Money in the Bank off a rare high-risk maneuver, and it benefited Becky Lynch, who is now coming back in this match. A nice snap, German, and down goes Mrs. Money in the Bank. 
Both these women hungry for victory tonight. Hungry for momentum here on Monday Night Raw. Great night of action thus far as the road to SummerSlam continues as Becky with the disarmor on the nightmare. We said that Becky Lynch knows a thing or two about these submissions. She knows how to escape them. She knows how to apply them. But so does Rhea Ripley. Oh, and a stiff shot. The violence, the physicality of Mrs. Money in the Bank. The reason she holds the briefcase. But the fighter that is Becky Lynch, the reason she has had a successful WWE career. Coming off Brett's rope there with the leg drop. Rhea Ripley may be in trouble. And man, Becky Lynch might not have put the nightmare away off that disarmor, but Becky could be searching for victory here. Rhea Ripley's got to get her wits about her, or the man's going to be leaving Charlotte with her hand held high. Manhandle slam! Speaking into existence, watch it come to life. Becky Lynch picks up the victory tonight on Monday Night Raw. Play well, hard fought victory to say the least. Misses Money in the Bank's momentum off the rails just a little bit as Becky Lynch, hungry for success, defeats Mrs. Money in the Bank and is gonna see her hand raised Here's to the thighs. Oh, wait a minute. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Well, Becky stared her down seven nights ago and well, Becky wants to fight, but I think Asuka's more interested in setting the mind games to Becky Lynch. There is something boiling over here between the man and the empress, and something's gotta give. We need to see these two women settle the score once and for all inside the squared circle. In due time, in due time. Well, coming your way next week on Monday Night Raw, it is an Intercontinental Championship rematch from Money in the Bank. Ilya Dragunov looking to win back the gold he lost eight nights ago as he goes face to face with the defiant L.A. Knight. And a massive main event sign for next week as well as we will determine Shayna Baszler's number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam. The former champion Liv Morgan battles the man Becky Lynch and also the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, it is a triple threat match next week. We're back live inside the Spectrum Center in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina, and it is main event time on Monday Night Raw. There is a lot of bad blood between these two superstars, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. It started with Karrion Cross putting Bobby Lashley through a table in the backstage area several months ago. Tonight it comes to a head in a matchup where the only way to succeed is to by putting your opponent through a table as well. Carrying Cross, unfortunately for him, coming up short in back-to-back -back evenings just last week as he failed in his pursuit to become WWE Champion at Money in the Bank, falling to the original bro Matt Riddle who still holds the gold as the face of Monday Night Raw. And of course last week in the main event, Carrying Cross the World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest and Finn Balor in a losing effort in that six-man tag team matchup against the champion Matt Riddle, the franchise John Cena, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. However, Lashley has been waiting for months to get his hands one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one with Karrion Cross. Remember these two men faced off back at Raw Homecoming in June, but Karrion Cross just squeaking away with the victory on that night. A matchup that Bobby Lashley has not forgotten about. Tonight, things come to a head the same way they started. Karrion Cross was upset with a loss by hands of Bobby Lashley back in the month of May. And how did he respond? By putting the almighty through a table. Tonight, the only way to get victory is by doing that same effort. Tables surround ringside, but who is going to feel the wrath of the wood here tonight at the Spectrum Center? Karrion Cross. 
one of the most dangerous superstars walking the planet today. But if there's one man who will never back down from a fight and certainly not back down to a matchup with Karrion Cross, it's the almighty Bobby Lashley. Big time main event with a lot of bad blood. It is a tables matchup live from the Queen City. Karrion Cross set for action, and here comes the almighty. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The biggest party yet, SummerSlam, comes your way Sunday night, August the 20th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time in an event that promises to be our biggest live premiere yet. Cannot wait to get to SummerSlam week next month but there's still a lot of business to take care of before we get to Levi Stadium. And that includes tonight in Charlotte. It is a tables match in your Monday Night Raw main event as the almighty Bobby Lashley looks to settle the score once and for all with the almighty, or excuse me, with the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. I'm hyped up for this main event. I feel like that's been something that's been the topic of discussion tonight. A lot of bad blood, a lot of scores to settle in the Monday Night Raw locker room. We just saw Oscar and Becky Lynch Really, tensions rising high between them week after week. Brock Lesnar and Kevin Owens gonna come to blows at SummerSlam, but tonight it is about Lashley, it is about Cross. The bell has sounded, and we are underway. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, and certainly no disqualifications. This fight can go anywhere as long as the tables follow, and somebody's gonna have to break through the wood for the other to achieve victory. Karrion Cross bringing the fight to Lashley as Lashley came hot out of the gate moments ago. This is more than just a victory for Bobby Lashley that he is searching for tonight. It's about long-awaited retribution. Lashley waited damn near five weeks and change to get his hands on Karrion Cross back at Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden. And we all saw how that went. Karrion Cross barely squeaked away with victory on that night. Now another chance for Bobby Lashley to get that payback that he's been searching for as he sends Karrion Cross over the top rope and down to the floor and tries to follow it up, but Cross outrunning the Almighty there. These two men not horsing around tonight. No feeling out process here. These two men know each other well enough. It's about throwing the live rounds and seeing who's going to be the last man standing. As we mentioned, no countouts, no disqualifications. This brawl has already made its way to the outside, and it can stay there for as long as they want until we hear a bell. Karrion Cross, one of the few men who's got the strength to pick up Lashley in that same matter and slam him down to the floor of the Spectrum Center. Now muscling up the almighty again. Putting your opponent through a table, no easy task. You really gotta beat your opponent to a point where they can barely stand and almost kind of dead weight them through the wood of the table to try to succeed. Really got to incapacitate your opponent as these two men are trying to achieve right now. Lashley was feeling a sense of urgency after that onslaught by Karrion Cross and now ragged on him in the barricade here at ringside. And Lashley with vengeance on his mind tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now, wait a minute. Go for a suplex. No, or never mind. Karrion Cross goes ribcage first through the barricade. Bobby Lashley hell-bent on retribution tonight. Thought he was going for a suplex on the outside of the ring. Instead, went down with it. Cross his ribcage. Enough impact, if you will, to explode the barricade here at ringside. We got a clear-cut view of the WWE Universe, but that also means Lashley and Cross got a clear-cut view to brawl throughout the Spectrum Center as we are about to see on the concrete into the WWE Universe. It's only going to get more dangerous, but unfortunately, well, at least unfortunately for these guys, for the viewers, it's great, but unfortunately for these two men, things are only going to get more extreme. And of course, these two men not afraid to take the fight wherever the fight brings them. Lashley trying to send Karrion Cross to another barricade. No more padding around ringside. These two men are brawling on straight concrete. Things have been boiling over 
between so many superstars on Monday Night Raw as of late. The road to SummerSlam has already been hot and heavy four weeks out, and we are seeing Lashley and Cross try to beat each other to a blithering pulp tonight. Back inside the squared circle, carrying Cross, grabbing the table, but he sees Bobby Lashley's already back to his feet. And as we mentioned earlier, you really got to incapacitate your opponent to get the opportunity to place them on a table and dive through it or simply slam them through the table. Going for the table again, but Bobby Lashley going to be a hard man for Karrion Cross to keep down. And by this point, he's got to realize that. This is not the first rodeo between these two men. This is their third singles contest over the last number of months. Lashley won back in May at WWE Live. Karrion Cross picked up the victory at Raw Homecoming. Tonight, a rubber match in the midst of this tables contest. Bobby Lashley dropping the elbow on Karrion Cross, trying to knock the wind out of him. We have seen table matches in the past where a superstar simply pushed their opponent from a height through the wood. And if that's what one of these men have to do tonight, I'm sure there will result to that. But Lashley, beautiful maneuver, awesome agility by the Almighty, off the second rope with that spear. It's certainly a trajectory that'll knock the wind out of you, if not break a rib. Now Lashley sending a table inside the squared circle. Karrion Cross has got one at ringside as well, and he also sends it in the ring. You know, we really only need one table to get a decision here tonight, but I guess the more the merrier. Now look at the strength by Karrion Cross. My goodness! And Lashley is landing only more painful as he lands on the table in a reverse situation. Those his legs of the table just going right into the body of the almighty. And now Cross, looking for the Cross jacket on Lashley. He can't win the match this way, but he could certainly incapacitate his opponent. Submission hold locked in on Lashley. Well, Lashley, even if you were to tap out, it's not going to be the decision, but we know the pride of the almighty is not going to let things result to that. Able to get out of it, a nice shoulder block. Simple, effective, and certainly dangerous by Bobby Lashley. And the carrying cross may have done enough damage to get the wherewithal of Bobby Lashley in a different place. And that table is precariously set up inside of the ring. It only takes one scoop and a slam, one suplex in that direction. Whatever you want to do to put your opponent through that table. No disqualifications in your Monday Night Raw main event. Great night of action here at the Queen City in, Spect in the Spectrum Center. The road to SummerSlam already has been hot and heavy. What about the lineup we got coming your way next week here on Raw? The Intercontinental Championship going to be on the line in a Money in the Bank rematch as Ilya Dragunov looks to take back the gold from the defiant LA Knight. Also next week, main event, triple threat affair. Who is going to fight Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam for the WWE Women's Championship? Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, Asuka. Not wait to get to Monday Night Raw next week, but before we get there, we got some unfinished business to settle tonight. And lastly... Using that table as a weapon, trying to knock out Karrion Cross. Certainly a way to do things in this matchup. Not only can you use those tables to put your opponent through them, you can also use them to simply knock out your opponent. The table is set up in the ring, and Karrion Cross is eating some live rounds, and now gets sent over the top rope. Bobby Lashley with a fire under his ass tonight. And you know, you gotta wonder. After Matt Riddle defeated Karrion Cross at Money in the Bank in the six-man tag victory last week, you gotta wonder who's gonna be next to step up to fight the original bro at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. It very well could be one of these two men. All remains to be seen who's gonna get the victory tonight, but I'm sure Bobby Lashley would love a chance to get back the WWE Championship, a title he held all the way back in April of 2022. All remains to be seen, as we mentioned, as two tables are now set up, well, at least for a moment. Looks like somebody paid a trip to Home Depot before this main event. A lot of hardware inside of the ring. And Lashley, I don't know what he's got in mind with the use of all these tables, but clearly his wheels are spinning. Oh, and Karrion Cross. That was probably the smartest move he could possibly do, just try to tackle down Bobby Lashley and keep him from setting up any more plunder. And that's it. Not able to capitalize. Lashley now sending Cross into the corner. Oh, and double boots there. 
Lashley's bell might have been rung off that reversal. And now carrying Cross. Oh no! Through the table goes Bobby Lashley! Karrion Cross has snuck away with another victory over the Almighty. A simple misstep. The boots to the jaw. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. And a victory for the Harbinger of Doom. When Bobby Lashley gets his eggs unscrambled and realizes what just happened, he is not going to be a happy Almighty. But in the end, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, secures victory. And after those recent losses at Money in the Bank and last week on Raw, has the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, put himself back in a position to become the next WWE Champion. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.